minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off, lift off for 9. Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering Dragon to the International Space Station for its ninth commercial resupply service mission. Coming up, we have Max Q, about another second or so. One of the highest stress states in the vehicle. Shortly after this, in about another minute, we will have main engine cutoff. This first stage burn will last for until the two minute and 20 second mark. Stage one propulsion is nominal. After we're at that point in time, we'll be deploying the booster. You just heard the propulsion call up that propulsion is nominal right now. And we've begun chilling in our Merlin vacuum engines on the second stage, getting ready for ignition right after separation. Now, because we are joining back at landing zone one, you will see uh, the stage one. You may not see this, but the stage one will be doing a quick flip maneuver right after separation. Head right back. And then shortly after we have uh, the second engine start, the Dragon nose cone will be separating and deployed as we leave the atmosphere of the Earth. Engine shut off. And stage separation. Stage one is under its flip. And we have ignition of the second stage engine. Stage one boost back is starting. And the boost back burn for stage one has also begun. Boost back burn is continuing as planned for the first stage. S second stage looks like a nominal throttling as well. All stations proceed to procedure 7.101 on orbit activation deployment. Stage one boost back is shut down. Stage one boost back is starting. The boost back is the primary burn that will get the vehicle moving more Stage slowly. And heading back to Cape Canaveral. Track position of signal.
So we are just over five minutes into today's mission, and so far everything is proceeding nominally, as we like to say around here at SpaceX. That second stage engine you see on the right side of your screen putting out just about 210,000 pounds of thrust right now. It's doing its job splendidly. Uh, it is going to be burning for about another five, four minutes right now, cutting off around the nine minute mark. Uh, they will be putting Dragon into an orbit of about 200 kilometers by 360 kilometers. Everything there looks like it's going well. Meanwhile, the first stage, you heard uh, the crowd cheer and call outs for the boost back burn. That did uh, perform successfully. Uh, looking at the track, the rocket is uh, going exactly as we want it right now. Uh, coming up in about 30 seconds right now, we're going to have the entry burn. That boost back burn, basically what it does is it uh, negates all that forward velocity and puts us on a trajectory back at landing zone one. The entry burn is really there to slow the vehicle down as it comes through the atmosphere. Uh, the atmosphere can be very damaging to the first stage, and so we basically want to slow it down as it comes into the atmosphere. We were going over 5,000 kilometers an hour, and the stage reached an apogee of over 130 kilometers, so that's a lot of energy we have to uh, take out. That, that entry burn is starting just now. Uh, it looks like it looks like it sounds pretty good. Uh, we are coming in through the atmosphere as of this moment. This entry burn will last for about 21 more seconds. We're seeing the image from the aft end of the rocket there. Uh, this burn will cut off in about five seconds, and we Stage have shut down. Stage one entry burn is shut down. Stage two propulsion still nominal. Stage one is transonic. mentioned we have those cameras out at landing zone one as you can see right here and this is where we're going to see the falcon 9 return you should see the range you there stage one landing burn started we can't promise it but the footage should be better than on the drone ship because the video cameras are a little bit further away you can see the vehicle's plumes coming into frame now that that's falcon, falcon 9 going to return at landing zone one landing legs have deployed LZ-1, Falcon 9 has landed. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100 on recovery and LZ-1 in that. Falcon 9 has landed yet again at LZ-1 for the first time since Orcon. It's the first time doing it this year. As Tom mentioned earlier, being able to land back on land is a critical part of our full and rapidly reusable strategy for SpaceX. It looks like the smoke is just clearing off that And the crazy thing is, we're like 30 seconds away from this. From this, from this so crazy the, maneuver. The, yeah. This extremely yeah, energetic room is. You can. Is it a hush? <laughs> LZ-1, the Falcon has landed. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100, section 3 on LZ-1 BNET and recovery net. 